a question we got from Vince. Um, does Paul have any problem with a fiduciary uh, who's also an agent purchasing a client's real estate? Can this be seen as a breach of the agent's responsibility? So fiduciary, just for those who don't know, that you know when, you, uh, when somebody passes, uh, there's various parties. You have a petitioner who could be an heir or not, and they're, they're filing to be the administrator or the executor. Sometimes that person doesn't want to handle the probate themselves, so they have somebody act on their behalf, which is a fiduciary. It can be an attorney or can be a professional fiduciary who's not an attorney. So Paul, is your, so the question is, how do you feel about fiduciaries? And I guess also, how do you feel about petitioners um, buying the property with multiple errors? Do you see that as a breach of the responsibility? Okay, so, so if, the, if the personal representative is buying the house, the personal representative have to get an okay from the court because it is a conflict of interest. Um, I'm so sorry, what is the gentleman's name that asked the question? Vince. Vince, imagine this Vince. Your uncle passed away. Your uncle has no children, no wife. You're, and you, and let's say you and three other brothers are the heirs just by being nieces and nephew. Vince, Vince, right? Mm -hmm. Vince, you are the personal representative and you're going to buy the house. That's fine, Vince. Vince, your name should be Jesus because you're so honest. <laughs> the whole world doesn't know that, Vince, right? The whole world doesn't know it, aka Jesus is buying the house. The house only worth 600, but Jesus is paying 610. But we don't know you're Jesus, right? We don't know, you know, so there's a conflict of interest there. And so the court, you know, the judge wants to know, hey, file petition, give notice to all your brother and sister, you're buying the house, and so that, that no one object, no, so that the, so it can cleanse you of any appearances of conflict of interest. Very good. Let me go back a little bit here. Again, if you're in the call live, want to uh, ask a question, raise your hand, or we'll, um, we'll uh, do our best to uh, catch up um, with you in the chat box. So, um, John, we talked to you, what does it take to get started? Um, in, um, Matt says in um, North Carolina, you have a thing called a petition to partition. If they dispute it, they can ask the judge to force the sale. So uh, I'm not an attorney, I'm not giving legal advice, but, but in my experience, we also have partition actions and that if a, if a party owns half or more, they can force the sale and, and there's a process to go through, but eventually they're probably gonna win. Um, Paul, do you get involved with partition actions when there's, let's say, two heirs, one wants to sell and one doesn't, or do you refer out to another attorney to do the partition portion? Or yeah, I, I don't, yeah I, I don't get involved in partition. And, and yeah, so let's say there's two owners and one owner wants to sell. Um, you go to court and the judge will force the other owner to sell. To sell. It's called a partition. Okay? And basically a real estate attorney would handle that. Yep. And the reason why the judge will grant it is because, you know, the law the, does not encourage landlock, right? So if you own 50-50 and you want to sell, the judge is going to allow that property be, to be sold, you know, versus being a landlock. So, so yeah, so, you know, I don't know what Georgia law is, but that's the concept behind a partition. I own 50%, you own 50 I don't want to sell, you want to sell, the court will take over, the court will allow it to be sold. I don't know Georgia law, but that's the idea of a partition. And, and again, I think Paul's being modest, but I can tell you that um, he is who he is because he doesn't handle partitions, he handles probate and he refers that out. And I, I recently, I actually have a case that was a probate resulting in two parties, 50-50, partition action that probate attorney referred to an attorney to handle the partition action. Uh, likewise, like Paul, a significant probate litigator, but they don't do partitions. It's a different court department. It doesn't really benefit their probate practice. And so that's the kind of attorney ultimately you'd like to work with if you can. 